In this video, we will be discussing about the autophagy pathway. The autophagy involves the sequestration of cytoplasmic components within the autophagosomes. The autophagy is the intracellular degradation process. Rather, we can say it is the cell degradation and cytoprotective process. It involves cellular cleansing and recycling of cellular nutrients as well. In the autophagy pathway, first there is a formation of phagophore followed by the autophagosome and then autophagolysosome. We see the phagophore is actually a cytomembrane which is derived from endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi or plasma membrane. Now let's see this pathway in detail. In phagophore formation, we get the initiation signal in the form of nutrient signaling. In other words, we can say autophagy is initiated when there is presence of less amino acids and glucose. We know mTOR C1 is the nutrient dependent mTOR which gets active when there is high availability of glucose and amino acids as depicted in the diagram on the left. But when the nutrient level falls extensively, the mTOR pathway is inhibited. We see under starvation conditions ULK1 phosphorylates both FIP200 and ATG13 resulting in the activation of downstream autophagy effector proteins thus leading to autophagy. So when signal is mediated, the cytomembrane is first selected, either from Golgi, plasma membrane or endoplasmic reticulum. And from this the phagophore is made. The phagophore has LC3 molecules on it as shown in the diagram. And it also has ATG12, ATG5, ATG16L complex on the membrane. The exact role of LC3 is still ambiguous. But there have been some researches put down where it has been found that LC3 plays a role in autophagosome maturation, induction of autophagy, and the cargo selection, as well as it plays a role in fusion. Then we have ATG5206 complex on the membrane. This complex is responsible for elongation of phagophore and its maturation into vesicle. Here we see the phagophore engulfs the mitochondria. And then ATG12, ATG5, ATG16L complex completes the elongation of phagophore into the vesicle. And we get the fully formed autophagosome as shown in the diagram. And it must be noted that when mitochondria is taken in for degradation process, it is termed as mitophagy. And in that process also some LC3 molecules leaves the membrane. And ATG12, 5 and 16L complex is given off by the membrane as shown in the diagram. Then in the next step, we have the fusion of lysosome with autophagosome. We see the autophagosome fuses with the lysosome and we get the autophagolysosome in that process. Then the lysosome releases all its hydrolytic components to degrade the cargo in the autophagolysosome, which concludes the autophagy pathway. And it must be noted that autophagolysosome is the single membrane structure, whereas autophagosome is the double membrane structure. So this is all about autophagy or mitophagy. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.